So with AI set to take over the world anyways, I figured I'd try to automate parts of woodworking and see if ChatGPT can design a hardwood keepsake box for me. I put in a prompt telling it that I wanted to make a prairie style hardwood box and this is what came out in terms of instructions. I also tried a few other AI softwares such as Bing which was supremely unhelpful as you can see here. So I ran over to the hardwood shop and I got some walnuts, sapile, and maple. And I'm gonna use sapile for the sides because it has a really nice tight grain and prairie style is all about long horizontal lines. And the idea behind this project is to follow the instructions that ChatGPT gave me as best as I can. So I'm making the sides of the box six inches tall the front of the box is going to be 12 inches wide and the depth of the box is going to be 6 inches. Once I have rough cut the sides, it's time to pull out my 45 degree table saw sled, which I clearly have not used in a while as evidenced by the cobwebs all over it that need to be cleaned up. And I start by putting one 45 degree miter edge on each of the long pieces. It's important to give yourself some extra length here. You can always cut off more, but you can't really add wood back. Now the reason we use a sled here is because by using a fence flip stop, you can repeat cuts with exactly the same length. When you're making a mitered box like this, even a miscalculation by a couple of millimeters can mess up everything. So we can see here that the two long sides are exactly the same length. And we repeat the same process now for the short sides. Once everything is cut, we can test fit it to make sure that it all matches up evenly. In this case, it's good enough, which is incidentally also the case for pretty much everything else that I build. So ChatGPT told me to cut out rabbits to have a recessed base, and this works great because that's pretty much the only way I know how to make a base for a box like this. Anyways, that's what I'm doing here, cutting out a groove along the bottom of each piece before I glue it all together. Now we get to the nerve wracking glue up stage. I put down some blue painter's tape to hold each piece in place as I clamp it up. And I use a band clamp to apply pressure while the glue dries. While that dries, I cut out a piece of maple to size that will serve as the base. I put some glue into the rabbit groove that I cut earlier, fit the base in there, and clamp it. Now it's time to work on the lid. ChatGPT told me to have a lid that has a bit of overhang, so a hinge is pretty much out of the question. I have to take this piece of walnut and cut out similar grooves on its edges so that the center of the piece can fit snugly into the main body of the box, with the top overhanging the sides a bit.
Now the finish line is in sight, I can see what this box will look like. But I really don't like the dimensions here. Prairie style is supposed to emphasize long horizontal lines that evoke the flatness of the Midwestern prairie. This box is just a bit too tall. So I went rogue here and I ignored the dimensions that the AI gave me. I sliced a bit off the top of the box to give it a more horizontal feel. After sanding it with 110 and then 220 grit sandpaper, it's time to apply the finish. I'm using Walrus Oil's Furniture Finish, which is easy enough to apply and brings out the vibrancy of the Sapile wood. And now we have the final product. I'm pretty pleased with it. The AI clearly understood the look I was going for and was able to generate a design that matched my vision. Of course, I had to alter the instructions it gave me just a bit to get there. In its current form, I don't see AI replacing designers, woodworkers, and makers anytime soon. At least I hope.